Good to be with everyone this afternoon. Thank you, Kitty, for those kind remarks. Uh, before I came today, I put on these cufflinks that my sister, uh, who was a Obama appointee, gave to me uh, from Camp David, just to remind me that elections matter. That of all things that, you know, in Tacoma Park we discuss, and the Nuclear Free Committee is, you know, part of the fabric of the city, but I never thought that we would actually be debating whether or not there might be a nuclear war, war in this world, and whether or not the United States of America would be participating in this. So just bear with me for some remarks. I can get into uh, SunTrust Bank during the Q&A. I think Kitty, Julie will be happy uh, once the council takes us up. Remember, City of Tacoma Park is a small municipality. We only have about 165 uh, employees, so it takes time to get these type of issues before the council for staff to do the research, but we are working on it. It is not something that we have forgotten about. When Haley first contacted me and asked me to participate in this event, I thought about the many, many things I had in my inbox that needed my attention and decided this had to be one of them. Because this topic is so important, especially now that President Trump has started the drums of war with North Korea. Weapons of mass destruction are very serious in that they can be chemical, biological, nuclear, radioactive, or explosive. Nuclear, however, is the most dangerous in that a very small amount of nuclear material can cause massive damage to humans, animals, and infrastructure, such as buildings, roadways, factories for miles and miles. Given the latter, and situations that have shaped our colored history as a nation and the world. In 1983, when Sam Abbott was mayor of Tacoma Park, under his leadership, the city took the position that it would be a nuclear-free zone. While there are many details to this ordinance, and it is strict in its wording, and we can talk about uh, those points during the Q&A. We as a city made this decision because it was right and socially responsible. We understood that if we are going to do the right thing with respect to this terrible threat, it had to start with what we did with city resources and ensure that we do not place financial investments into the manufacture of nuclear weapons in any way. Additionally, no nuclear pl power plants can be built or operated in the city of Tacoma Park. While the details are difficult to manage and continuous research and due diligence is required to administer such a legislative act day to day. This fact is why the City Council created the Nuclear Free Tacoma Park Committee. The committee was created by the city with appointed membership. The council appoints the members. The committee's purpose, the mission is to oversee implementation of and adherence to the Tacoma Park Nuclear Free Zone Act. On behalf of Tacoma Park, the, the Nuclear Free Zone Committee advocates for nuclear disarmament and is entrusted with making, purchasing recommendations for the city that ensures that Tacoma Park does not do business with companies that manufacture or participate in the manufacture of components of or the funding of nuclear weapons. And that is a difficult task 
companies hide, you know, who they do business with. It's not, especially if it's a private company, it's not easy to find out they might be financing some type of uh, nuclear um, weapons or they might be, you know, buying computers from, uh, you know, like HP that, that has a, uh, a big foothold in, in the nuclear advocacy uh, in this country. Contractors working for the city must also sign a notarized document that they are not engaged in the development, research, production, maintenance, storage, transportation, and or disposal of nuclear weapons or their components. The committee members represent the six wards that make up the city of Tacoma Park. Being a city with many, many firsts, we take this act very seriously in that given our geographical location, we believed and still do that it is important and makes a grand statement to our neighboring city, the nation's capital. Tacoma Park is noted for being a nuclear free zone along with cities including Berkeley, Cleveland Heights, Madison, Wisconsin, Homer, Alaska, Chicago, Illinois, New York City, and the list goes on and on. And internationally, we are joined by Austria, Canada, Japan, Italy, and the UK. The city of Tacoma Park is proud of its nearly 34 years as a nuclear-free city. We have signs, when you come to visit Tacoma Park, we have signs announcing it is leading the city and it is part of what has made Tacoma Park special. While not investing in these companies that participate in the manufacture of nuclear weapons doesn't stop the manufacture of nuclear weapons, it can serve to make this activity seem unfavorable. It can become something that is whispered about in a shameful way as to imply that this is something we shouldn't be doing or that we are ashamed of doing. It's more that Tacoma Park is trying to lead as being the moral compass, you know, when it comes to uh, investing in the nuclear industry. That shame can be a catalyst towards a more positive leadership with, within the divestiture of nuclear arms manufacturer. Remember how smoking became uh, a big issue for the country, Jim Crow, apartheid, the list goes on. And so let's all work together around not just the country, but the world to make nuclear weapons part of that shameful list. <laughs> nuclear free means taking responsibility for the safety of our society, waging war on the production of weapons of mass destruction that are nuclear in nature. So we must put in the same type of energy that the people on the other side are doing to promote these nuclear weapons. We cannot stop. We must continue to resist. We must also think about what we are willing to sacrifice to make sure that this world is nuclear free because it's not going to be easy. Too many people are making a lot of money off of nuclear arms. It is, it is the responsible thing to do and represents civilized behavior in governing the lives and well-being of billions of people in this world. Thank you.